Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic here with another plan with me. This is my spread from last week using a kit from Caress Press. I love this black and white plaid. I actually use this theme for the Christmas decorations for my house this year. Um, I really love um, this kit for the same reason I use this theme as deco and that is you, it's so easy to kind of dress up dress it up and make it your own so I felt the same way about this kit and this spread moving on to this week I am planning for the week of December 10th through December 16th I am using this kit that I got last year from GP sticker studio I think I bought individual pages so I've got full boxes I've got this kind of functional and um, two sheets where we've got the checklist some half check boxes Monday through Sunday tracker habit trackers a few appointment labels some flags and hearts and asterisks and the like I also have um, some more quarter boxes, some headers, a little bit of circle icons and regular icons, and the weekend banner. And I've got some washi strips and some bottom washi. One of the things that I do not have is day covers, which I tend to love. Um, and I don't have half boxes, I don't think. So I will either go in my stash or improvise and that's it. So if you're interested in watching this play with me, stay tuned and let's get started. So I start off with my bottom washi as usual. I kind of struggled with the bottom washi a little bit. I think it was just like getting used to the, the stickiness of the paper. Um, but I ended up getting it after a few tries. So a little bit about my planning style. I call this planner my reflection planner. So everything that goes in this planner has already happened. I use this planner to compare to my uh, my main planner. Um, I use it to track my anxiety, to hold myself accountable, um, but also so that I can tell myself that I'm doing a good job when I feel like I'm not crossing off enough things off my list or I just feel like a bad mom or a bad wife. I look at it to see what I actually did and sometimes what I actually did is not very impressive. And so um, that's its main purpose and I use stickers because it's fun. So after I did the bottom washi, I put, did the page flags at the top and then I used some date covers from my stash to um, cover up the dates. I think it went okay. And then after that, I moved to my sidebar. So for this week, I use um, the quote box to start off. And then I put together my sidebar pretty similar to how I usually put it together. And that's basically tracking my grateful thoughts, um, my bar classes, my reading, and whatever I'm listening to in audio. Um, I started off with that washi strip and then I put down the Monday through Sunday tracker. I ended up changing things around because of spacing issues. So I put down the first tracker which is going to track my bar classes and then I put down another glitter washi in between and then I put down another habit tracker to track my reading. I'm not doing a very good track job tracking my reading like I'm very inconsistent about tracking like when I'm reading for myself and when I'm reading to Jacob and I don't know I just need to make up my mind about how I want to how I want to do that um so once I got to the bottom I realized I didn't really want to add anything to make the spacing work so I wanted to move everything down and that's basically what I did one thing about this sticker paper is it's this final and it's so easy to pick up and move things around and I had to do that quite a bit this week because I kept making just just stupid mistakes so after I get everything down I write everything in this week I read back in my husband's bed it was a harlequin book just very much fluff and very enjoyable 
And then I was listening to What to Say Next by Julie Botsbaum, and I loved it. I'm really loving Julie Botsbaum right now, and she only has, I think, four or five books out, so I guess I'll have to wait until she comes up with something else. Um, she just has a, I mean, I don't even like reading um, YA, like young adult books that are like set in high school because I just can't deal with the angst but she does it really well and it doesn't I'm not dealing with like angsty teenagers which drive me crazy so move to Monday I put down a washi strip from the kit and then I put in the sleep and sticker from Love Shira then I put down a, a quarter box and a bar sticker like a I guess a weight sticker from the kit to mark that I went to borrow with Shelby. I then put down a full box to make it look pretty. I didn't need it to really take up a lot of time. I just wanted it to look pretty. And then I put down a to-do header and then um, I wanted to mark a few things, quite a few things that I got done that day. I went to the post office. Um, and this time of year the post office is pretty crazy and then I put down a heart checklist so I could track some things that I did most of it was for work I basically had to set this it's, it's that time of year um, where I really need to see clients um, it's a tough time of year for people who are going through like family problems because I'm a family law attorney and I specialize in child welfare law, so I often represent kids. And it's just a tough time, so I definitely try to um, get to see all my clients, especially my child clients, um, before the holidays. So I just set up visits and appointments, and I had to check in with clients, and you know, call emails, just basically, you know, everyday stuff. And then I went on to visits, um, one in Round Rock and one in Georgetown. And then at the very end, I put down a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. Um, we had like a family time where we went to Mozart's, which is kind of like a coffee shop. But they had a really elaborate lights display for the season. And it was like set to the music. And we went. Jacob didn't have a nap, so he was pretty horrible. Um, but I enjoyed it, but no one else did. My husband didn't. Jacob was not into it and it wasn't it wasn't great so on Tuesday I put down a today header and that um, what do you call those things uh, alarm clock is from the coffee monsters coat work that I had an early start I actually had a mediation um, that took place at my own office that um, like desk um, meeting sticker it's from the coffee monsters go I put down a heart a three heart checkbox to mark some things that I got done afterwards I'm really loving Jimmy Jones right now got my eyebrows done and I picked up Jacob I put down a washi strip and put down the sleeping um, emoji from Grin and Barrett to mark that we we took a nap and then the flat lay sticker is from Toffee Bananas. I did put down the full box at the bottom so I knew that I had enough space. And then I also wrote, I put down that um, planner sticker from the kit and wrote down that I did. I had some crafting and planning time. So on Wednesday I start off with a full box. I wrote over the top of the full box to mark that um, I did Jacob's routine and drop off that morning. And then my husband and I went to the speech therapist appointment to kind of go over the Jacob's evaluation. After that, we had a kind of day date. I used the date night sticker from the kit, but we had a day date and we went to Crackle Barrel because we're super boring and I love breakfast food. And then I put down to do list and marked some very boring work that I needed to do. Um, basically, like I said, boring paperwork. I needed to email my bank, phone calls, deal with my student loan, I could run payroll, pay bills, just probably the most boring stuff that's possible for my job I needed to do. And for the record, I love that stuff. I just, I do. <laughs> I love crossing things off a list. 
I put down a washi strip and then I put down the ramen sticker from Plans with Finesse to mark that I tried to make ramen again and again it came out tasting like chicken noodle soup so in my eyes it was a fail. I finished up Wednesday with a flat lay to show that I got some planning, crafting, and just kind of some time to myself done. And then on Thursday, I started off by going to bar. I used a sticker from the kit to mark that. I then used the splat sticker from Once More in Love to mark that Tosh had a car accident. And now that I think about it, the splat sticker maybe was a little insensitive. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have used that one. Um, after we dealt with the car accident, Tosh was fine. Um, his truck was not, um, but it wasn't his fault. So once they towed it and, you know, I picked him up and we went to lunch at Carabas and it was a fail because the food was awful. So um, we didn't really have time to get it remade. We just sent it back. It, I mean, Tosh ate his, um, but we needed to get some Christmas shopping done because we also needed to pick up Jacob and we were running out of time. So then after that, I picked up Jacob and um, that work lettering sticker is from Sweeping Plans. And then I just had some typical work just finishing up, had a phone conference, things like that. And then at the end of the evening, I put down a flag sticker from the kit to mark that I had rehearsal for our Christmas Eve production. And then a YouTube binge sticker at the very bottom, which you can barely see, is from Piper Paper Company. Then, for some reason, I forgot to move the camera, I mean the planner, so the shot was off. Um, and basically, all I did on Friday was put down a washi strip and put down another sleeping sticker from Love Shira. I then put down one of the long flag stickers from the kit. And then, so what's really important to note is everything that I'm planning right now is for the wrong day. So, um, <laughs> I put some mom life sticker from Clarissa Plants at all. I, you know, put cuddles and it says routine, Jacob's routine. Um, I ate cornbread because I didn't have time to eat anything decent. And then there was a road trip to Houston. Again, all of this is going on Friday but it all happened on Saturday so this is what happens when I plan and film two days in a row I just kind of get confused I'm really not good at doing anything that's out of the ordinary or out of like a pattern that I'm used to doing and so um, I visited a client in Houston and then I realized it when I got ready to go to Sunday that I did it all wrong so I put down the washi strips and the weekend banner and then I have to move everything over. I didn't bother moving it in the sleeping sticker over the sleeping sticker, but I moved everything else over and I just kind of um, whited everything out and just it was fine actually like this is the perfect kit to make that mistake with because these stickers come up so easily and go back down like no tearing of the planner no undo I'm too lazy for that anyway um, it was all good no problem so that's my Saturday um, and then actually after Saturday I have to go back and not have to but I go back and I plan Friday. So on Friday I left the sleep-in sticker there because probably I slept in, I'm not sure. Um, I then put down a full box. I then put down, um, oh I put down the full boxes, the rest of the full boxes because I knew where I wanted them to go. And then I put down what I consider an appointment label. Um, and then I put down a sticker from, uh, Planner Frenzy, the car sticker to mark that I had to drive to Teague, Texas to visit a client. I put a flag sticker from the kit to mark that visit. Um, and then I put down a washi strip and a coffee time sticker from the kit to mark that. I stopped at Starbucks on my way back. I also stopped at Jersey Mike's because why not? If I see a Jersey Mike's, I'm probably going to stop. I then put down a washi strip as kind of a separation, an appointment label to mark that we had a Christmas party for church. We relate, of course, because 
I like it's a potluck and I rush home with like 10 minutes to spare and then I burn um, what I was going to take so we didn't have to stop by the store and pick up something. Um, I did some work after the party and then I just marked that Jacob had some sweet prayers that night and I wanted to remember to put that in the monthly which is kind of where I keep like Jacob memories the monthly section of my planner so I kind of mark it there because I had room because I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget so on Sunday I start off um, with a today header and then a few things that I did which was basically um, Jacob cuddles I got to be a bat cave um, Jacob blessed me with that role and I was on my phone all morning on social media. Um, I did not produce for church because I was doing the Christmas Eve production and the Sunday production um, for the following week. And so I had that week off. The grocery sticker is from the kit. Um, and then I start at the bottom to mark that we watched Jane the Virgin. That meal prep sticker is from Piper Paper Company. And then I put that shopping sticker from Stick With Me Shop to mark that I picked up some gifts. So I show you the rest of the stickers. And that's it. Have a good day. Thanks.